Welcome back to uh, my fucking partner in crime, Eric Alegria from Europe, dog. Yeah, bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, bonjour, au revoir. Uh, oui, oui. Oui, oui. Uh, fucking no homo, but I missed you, boss. <laughs> Miss you too, bro. Two, three weeks yeah. just fucking having fun in France. Yeah, yeah. It was a nice little getaway, man. You know, it makes you appreciate uh, where we live and what we have here. Because uh, driving through the streets of London, saw it was a little Oh, wait, you went Baghdad. to London? Yeah, that was our final stop before heading back to... Los Angeles. Oh, London is like the Middle East now, yeah. I hear you. Oh, to totally. It's like tech support everywhere, man. <laughs> But that's crazy. Yeah. yeah, it is. But how, okay, uh, how was France though first? France is fucking crazy, bro. Just because, I mean, aesthetically, that place is gorgeous, man. Yeah. Because uh, unlike London, where everything's like old, new, ugly, yeah. you know, somewhat not ugly you know yeah uh it, you know fucking france is like dude it's like uh architect's wet dream you know it's, it's just amazing like, everything's like uh a you know uniform you know like yeah. everything's like you know like those white old buildings and uh i don't know if you ever been to new orleans have you ever been to new no, orleans i want to go yeah new orleans is a cool city You know, uh, you know, I stayed in the French Quarter. So, like, all these things that, you know, like, we hear, like, oh, this is French or that, that you know, it means nothing to you if you've never been there, right? Yes. When they say French are, are uh, well, I've been, and then uh, I want to see some of the stereotypes that you heard before going there and then see if it's true. One of the stereotypes is um, that they're not friendly towards Americans. Yeah. Was, yeah. was that true? No, no, that's not true. You case. fucking liars. Bro, <laughs> these like, there's so much misinformation. Yeah, yeah. That you you would just believe it until now. Yeah. And then you're like, absolutely false. Yeah. Yeah. Second stereotype, they smell. Um not the French in particular. Yeah. Or I mean the French, not the migrants on the fucking floors of Paris that you probably saw, North Africa. <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of Africans in in Paris. That's uh, yeah. That's something that uh, I felt like I was back They in made Chicago a song about bro. that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cool, man. You know, they you know they're 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 into uh, you know equality and all that stuff. And uh, you know, I guess the Africans, the European democracy. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing, man. Like. You know, people want to shit on on uh, uh, Mexico and our borders and and, and all these uh, damn man, motherfucker. These motherfuckers come here to work, right? And they get yes. shit done, right? And like, their people you're are freaking welcome. out. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Over there, bro, it's like you know they're there. Uh, they come and and we're not fixing anything, right? No, and we want it. Uh, To be, you know, how it was back in our country, Muslim, you know, like the way you they don't cover it, up women. Yeah, all that shit. And they do, you know, and they walk around like that. So I mean You're telling us, brother, we've been yeah. we've been fighting this for thousands of years. Yeah. We're yeah. like, you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, totally, bro. I mean, it's it's uh Yeah, it's just very eye opening and and you know. Okay, but besides all that, how did you go to the Louvre? Yeah, yeah, we didn't go inside. We just saw it from the outside. You should have gone inside because yeah. you didn't get tickets beforehand. No, no, but we you took a care. tour. Yeah, and, and uh, they took us. The tour guide uh, took us to uh, I don't know, like a lobby or some place, and he and he told us about the Louvre. <laughs> <laughs> we went to the lobby, bro. He said, "This is this is where it yeah, is, yeah. bro. This is." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, we went to Notre Dame, and uh, we was went it to, burning? <laughs> no, they were fixing it up. It's almost done. It's almost done. So, uh, how's I have one crazy conspiracy theory to share? How's my thing? I feel like I'm screaming. No, you're good. Good. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's because you just turned up your headphones. I turn it down. Oh, you turned it down. Yeah, because okay, it was yeah. hyping me up. Oh, okay. Like I'm hyped when I hear <laughs> nice. you loud. Good. I'm like, fuck yeah, it. yeah. So the the church, they're fixing it. Yeah. It's almost done. So they say that there was that was a message because Michelle Obama was on a boat uh, near the church when it was burning. They said it was like some type of uh, world elite leaders uh, message that Obama was uh, Michelle a or Mike uh, Obama <laughs> was on a boat yeah. while, while it was burning. Uh -huh. 
It was a message from the Obamas. To, to they they said it was some type of message from uh-huh. the elites. Yeah, yeah. When that church was burning. Yeah. For, and no one cared at that time. Remember, no one made a, made a fuss about it. I, it was on the news. A lot of people, and I, I think they, I do remember it was, yeah. it was it, people didn't make a fuss out of it, but other stuff. Uh, but supposedly, like I mean, they they got donations from all across the world to fix it back up and shit like that. Yes, yeah, yes. Um, and uh, uh, I don't know. That's that's a deep conspiracy, you know. And I'm into conspiracy. I'm all for it, you know. I, I'm not like uh, this and that, but I just don't. I mean, I don't know enough about it. I don't know. Uh, I I, I yeah. just I th- that's one of the stuff where it, if this, you know something about it, leave us a comment and uh, maybe some links on where we could do some more research about it. Do we have anywhere for them to leave comments? Well, they could leave comments on the uh, if they listen to it on Spotify, right? Or they could leave a review, and they could uh, maybe. Le- but on the YouTube, yeah, YouTube. We need to put that on the in the back at the end of the videos. Leave yeah. a fucking comment on, on yeah on whatever. Yeah, these yeah. Things. Leave a leave a comment on the YouTube uh, channel. On, yeah, because we're we're up to like we'll, we'll respond to it. So, uh, I'm not gonna respond to it, but until, <laughs> until we hit a hundred until we hit a hundred followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at forty now. Forty on YouTube. No, uh, no, we got we got more than that. Oh, okay, <laughs> it's, yeah. Well, yeah, no, it's because we haven't hit that high. We got to focus on what's gonna uh, generate the most money first. Sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sex is good. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, uh, I don't know who's gonna have sex, but we're, we'll we'll pay people to come have sex here. Yeah, yeah. No, we're not gonna pay them. So uh, you went to Fran- uh, Paris. Paris, yeah. Ate some good cheese. Which is like way cheaper over there. Uh, How was the nightlife? Uh, you know, I went with my wife, and uh, you know, we were, we were walking everywhere, bro. And you know, in but LA, it's elegant, right? Like people are sitting down, no one's on yeah. their phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're more of a cult. Like enjoy the. Uh, when, yeah. When I was there, the teenagers were drinking wine and yeah, conversing and smoking cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. And yeah, the kids do. You know. So the kids like there they 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 look a little more sophisticated. Yeah, you know? leather jackets. Yeah, fucking having oral sex. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> decent haircuts. You know, <laughs> not vaping. Uh, you know. <laughs> oh no, vapes! Vapes haven't made it there yet. No, you know I I have it. You know, and I was surprised. I thought I'd see more people smoking. You know. Oh, they're not smoking cigarettes. Not as much. Yeah. Not oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we went to uh, f- yeah, Paris was incredible. It just just because you could see how how um uh how old it was and yeah. and uh, uh, but there was something there was something um missing because when I went to like maybe it was like five I don't know how many years ago it was because there was still like uh. France was had all these crazy riots for the last year and a half. Uh-huh. It started with COVID, and then they started with um, with uh, taxes, and then with M- Macron doing some shit. Yeah, and then so it's like it was calm now. When you went, it's calm. There was no. There was there was a um, we there was a you know free Palestine uh, uh, demonstration. No for, way, they uh, were yeah, still there. Yeah, okay. in in Paris and in London. Oh, that's uh, hell yeah! Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, did it get yeah. out of hand? No, no, they were very respectful. Very, uh, uh, you know, that's crazy. I mean, how it's still going on? Yeah, how it's still going on? Uh, Israel was was uh, bluffed that they were gonna uh, attack Lebanon, uh, Lebanon, and then America was like, I can't. Uh, this was last week. America was like, I don't recommend you because you went to war with Hezbollah, which is the militant uh militants of uh when i was in college for six days there was israel went against hezbollah and hezbollah cream it like de- demolished them in six days they demolished the israeli military wow they're not even the lebanese army they're like the the militants that's funded by iran and in northern uh no, they're bordering northern israel so they're badass they fucking wrecked they actually they 
they sent a drone and they did a live feed of the drone completely surpassing all of uh, the Israeli uh, Iron Dome and then showing all the Israeli fucking uh, 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 sensitive points, military sensitive Damn. points. And then they're like, uh, we don't recommend you guys attack us, but if you guys attack us, we just want to let you guys know wow. we, we're already... And then Israel was like, uh, nothing. Hmm. Yeah. They've been getting wrecked in, yeah. nor in northern Israel. Well, bro, isn't the, you know, October 7th uh, proof of them that they're fucking, they're not up to par, you know, in their defenses? I mean... It it would um, in the beginning it it did but it it with all these new journalists uncovering um, uh, interviews yeah. they planned it like that just so they can attack Gaza. The journalists came and they said there was five or six hour difference when when they attacked and then the IDF came. They're like because uh, residents of the nearby um, nearby cities in Gaza they were like. They're doing military drills. They're doing military drills, and they actually the the person in charge that kept getting the calls. Yeah. Uh, they're like, uh, uh, they're like, they kept saying like, no, no, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. So they're from the top down. They're they're j they wanted this attack to happen, mm. just yeah. so they can go and bomb, bomb, uh, and and uh, completely uh, this whole this this whole thing is so they can uh, either get the. Um, Turn it into uh, uh, a new land. They want to turn Gaza into like this beachfront. And then it was like on one of the synagogues, or it was one of these real estate companies that they were actually selling land to, to people who, who, bidders, who would buy land in occupied Palestinian land. Yes. And then that's when the protests happened. And uh, um, it was actually the weakest people just fighting on both ends. Really? Just, it was just like fucking. Uh, it was the it was cringy. Yeah, it was it was it was so cr none, none of them could fight. And the crazy part is the pro Palestinian people now they were anti. Uh, they were the pro BLM and anarchist social revolutionaries. They were anti Muslim. Whenever the Muslims with us were protesting the 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 fucking faggot drag queen hour. Yeah. So these people were against them yeah. in all these school boards because uh -huh. they were fighting the Muslims. Okay. Uh, and they were fighting the Christians yeah. at these school board meetings. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden you're fighting with the Muslims. Uh -huh. uh, but you guys were just fighting them six months ago huh. against the, the Israeli Zionists. Yeah. You're like, you guys were just saying Muslims should stop uh, harassing our drag queens and gay teachers. Now you're like, oh, we're... Yeah. You know I mean? I, I get it. I, I mean, I, any, you know... Kids are still get, getting blown to smithereens, and it's yeah. the most kids have died in Gaza than in any other conflict in the world. Yeah, mm. because that's what they're you know that's what they're trying to do. They're 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 and uh, there was a whistle not a whistleblower, but there was a um, uh, a high ranking Israeli general that said Israel, uh, the the IDF has been getting wrecked by by the militants in Gaza. Yes, to, at the point where they're still diminishing the fucking population, so the women don't have kids, and then the kids are fucked up. So they're, you know, they're causing such insane trauma that right. the next generation is. Uh, but they're like they're getting so um, right. uh, fucked up. Yeah, bro. Not even like physically. Not only physically, right? Are they fucking them up? But mentally too, bro. Because yeah. like, bro, how long is it gonna take for them to rebuild that shit and get? Back to some sort of normality, right? Never. But also, it it uh, um, this does come at an expense. I would I would say that they have ruined the mystique of Israeli dominance. Like so many people didn't care. I personally didn't care because I'm like, well, uh, I don't care about either of them because both of them have you know uh, been uh, against us. But and then you see, you're like. You guys just ruined uh, just the perception of non-Israeli Jews in Europe and in America. Like people see you differently now. Like they see you. You 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 have lost that that uh, that uh, that social credit or that uh, the victim card. Yeah. You can't be a victim card. You can't be a victim anymore. You're li you you can't be saying the Holocaust anymore. The Holocaust because you're just committing a Holocaust. Worse. 
because you're you're it's like so uh there uh also it it backfired because the 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 only way Israel I would think can remain functioning is if people in a diaspora who do not have a birth or any type of deep connection to this land refuse to go there like if you're going to be like hey I that's my people's land because god told us uh, why am i going to go there when they're like i'm at threat yeah it's not like people like hey uh mexico belongs to you right no matter it belongs to your parents your grandparents your great great grandparents the the indigenous people that were before anything yep so you're like we i you know it's normal you're like yeah "Yeah, i'm gonna yeah like i'm gonna die yeah and there's people who are going to die. Yeah. And there's more people who are going to go there and have, you know, but it's different on Israel because it's not an um, Israeli identity. Uh-huh. It's like, it's from the 40s. There's no, right. how much can you tell someone from New York? Yeah. Hey, you have to go like fight there. Yeah. Like now everyone's awake. Now everyone's not yeah. on your side. Right. You're like, oh. I don't know if I want to. Anyway, fuck off. Let's let's get back to Europe. Yeah. No, you're right. I mean, because we could we do. It goes so deep, and it's it's so yeah. crazy. Not to mention, like it. Not only like it's not like like they discovered that shit like uh, uh, Columbus did, you know, yeah. uh, and 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 fought for it, even though you know they had an advantage and they killed most of the indigenous people with their sickness and with that they had but they didn't they, they, they the uh the, the they didn't they didn't know that they're bringing the sickness to infect right. these people yeah these people are yeah. just not right uh, just yeah. like when Elon Musk recently gave a um i think he gave a laptop yeah or some type of electronic gadget to an amazonian tribe in near, near brazil and it ruined the entire tribe Wow. Because I kept watching porn. Come on. Yeah. Oh, when you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like you're going, oh, this is, oh my God, this is one of the craziest documentaries I've ever seen. That's wild. There's a, where, where's it on Netflix? So this document I'm going to tell you, you what happened with, with Elon Musk was recent. I, I, they, they just, uh, uh, I guess they're trying to um, uh, keep it under uh, hush or whatever. But I saw this documentary called... Um, uh, first contact, where uh, it, it was also in Brazil, where these tribes were were slowly starting to attack people um, in the in the, uh, Argentina and and in Brazil and their military and the UN said this is one of the this is the old tribe no one can no one can talk to them and then uh, like missionaries went and they killed the missionary yeah. so and then they're like well these people are going into these villages. And I think they killed a child or they killed someone else, but they're short, uh, the Amazonian tribe. And they're like, you can, no one can contact them. Like, but so the villagers are like, we're going to kill them because they killed someone in the village. These are regular people who are like, hey, man, you, unless you guys go talk to them or someone, um, we're going to kill them because they killed our fucking kid. Yeah. So, I mean, you, it doesn't matter what the fuck the UN says. God forbid if someone, someone hurts your family member, yeah. if it's a, a, a fucking indigenous, Whoever. like You're Amazonian tribe. Up. Yeah. So they find this one guy who speaks their language from some f- anthropologist, and then they take him there, and then they start, it's called First Contact. Yeah. Maybe one of the incredible, most incredible documentaries I've ever seen. And... Uh, um, the leader of that tribe, he says, uh, he says, I want to come uh, and see how you guys live. And then so and then I can come and tell my tribe uh, to not attack anyone else in those villages. So if I don't come back, then they're going to attack those people in the villages. So we have no deal. That's just how they did the deals. So this guy, the, the bro, it's a fucking Amazonian guy. Like, Bone through his nose. Like uh, barefoot, not, ba- yes, bare, barefoot. Yeah. Everything else. He comes to the house. Maybe they said within a couple of days. I'm not sure if it's a couple of days or a week. Soon as he, bro, the next it was a cut to <laughs> him wearing a Chicago Bulls Come sweater, on. drinking tea, and watching TV. And they said, "Hey, man, like, like, um, you got to go back and tell your tribe." He says. 
I never want to go back. <laughs> They're like, bro, you're the leader of the tribe, <laughs> boss. <laughs> He's like, I never want to go back. Oh man, bro, he felt he 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 basically just jumped. I don't know how many thousands of years yeah. that we've come from that to yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And he says, I don't want to go back. They wow. go, you're the leader of this tribe. You have to go back. Wow. Like, So then uh, I'm not going to tell you how the fucking documentary okay. ends because I, wanna, I yeah, want you I to watch check it. it out. This I also don't remember. Fascinating. But yeah. it's... I also don't remember. Bro, he, he was wearing... <laughs> he was like sitting CrossFit like yeah. us. He was smoking yeah. a cigarette, uh, drinking tea in a Chicago Bulls fucking sweater. And then it's like, oh, they're like, bro, you have to go back and tell them. He's like, no, I don't want, I never want to go back. That's wild, bro. First contact. It blew my fucking mind. Imagine this guy's like, what the fuck, bro? You, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I felt a couch. <laughs> bro, imagine you feel a couch and you have to be like, ah, oh, I got to go back on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's where we are, bro. It just yeah. like, it, I mean, how long are you going to, how long yeah. are we going to keep these tribes, bro? Yeah. Just fucking, just take them, bro. Just take the tri tribes? Yeah, but just like fucking just take them in a bar or something, bro. Yeah, just, yeah. Not, not like slavery, but like just fucking. Take them out of their, their existence? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how, how long do you think they're going to fucking last? We're dying. Yeah. Just take one of them. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking, just be like, that's a. Uh, Bro, that's like, like you know, like, you know, the Amish, like, turning out, not Amish, you know what I mean? All of a sudden being like, you know what, fuck that, you know? Well, the Amish know know what the fuck is up. Yeah. The Amish, they, ha they have, was it the Amish? I think it's the Amish when they have, like, they have, they're like, you have a month of going. Yeah, yeah. but I, there's, there's, there's a percentage that don't go back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, a small percentage, but, yeah. So, I mean, you could understand that shit. <laughs> yeah, right? of course. Yeah. I mean, fucking. Um, but yeah, it is. Uh, uh, okay, so you were in Paris. Yeah. And then you went uh, to London. Well, no, from Paris, we went to Normandy. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, D Day, dude. Where is that the shit? Anniversary. Yeah, yeah. And it's because we went to, uh, bro, this, this place where we went, Mount St. Michel, is a uh, castle. And it's been. It, it's a thousand years old, a thousand. You went to visit or Airbnb? Uh, we uh, there. So it, it it's like a, a castle, and uh, it's been several different things uh, because it's a real uh, designated place, and because uh, it's surrounded by water, and it's and it, and the high tide, uh, you can't get to it. Okay. And then you can't get to it until it's low tide. And then there's restaurants and there's, uh, uh, you know, shops there. So how'd you guys get to it? Uh, we took a train from Nice uh, to Normandy, uh, about three and a half hours in train. And then... Uh, how beautiful was the train ride? It was great. Yeah, really nice. Did you take yeah. photos? Uh, yeah, took a lot of photos, took a lot of video. Um, yeah. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you them. And uh, yeah, it was just it was gorgeous. You know, going through the countryside. You know, I'd want to see Normandy is cool because it's the country. You know, Paris is like New York City, bro. Yeah, it's like Mexico City. It's like any big city. It's dirty. Yeah, it, you know. So a lot of people, a lot of you know. You know, I'm sure like a lot of the people in Paris aren't from Paris, right? Just like any big city, you know. You know, so. Uh, but a huge portion of it are French. Yeah, probably, but there's probably a lot that that aren't. Yeah, I would a lot. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot. Just like dude, a lot. That, yeah, just like uh, you know, America and stuff, and you know, how uh, do you think all those Africans got there? You know what I mean? It's like there's there's a lot of people. Uh, low tide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they they got they got you know, like I said, it's just like any it's like the United States. So there's a lot of people that aren't from there that are there. You know, how long mm -hmm. did it take for you to be like, OK, I'm in Europe now. I'm not in L.A. I'm not in America. One day, two days. Yeah, bro. Aesthetically, it's so different. You know, but I mean, when your system, you're like, are you like you're like, what the fuck? Where am I? Um, I think I was gearing for it. I was so ready. OK, I, good. I, I watched a lot of videos. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
<laughs> Why you laugh? Well, what kind of videos did you watch right? to go to Europe, bro? Yeah. Bro, any any place I go to, bro, and that's kind France of, for dummies. <laughs> kinda. <laughs> Yeah, I watch, bro. You don't uh, well, ask my wife. Did you watch a uh, fucking ask Midnight in wife. Paris <laughs> with Woody Allen? I have seen that movie. Yeah, one of my yeah, one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah, yeah. Um, another good one is the one with uh, Billy Crystal. Uh, Forget Paris. Oh, I gotta watch. Yeah, that. yeah, that's a good one. I've been watching like yeah. movies from the two thousands and nineties. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's a '90s movie. I mean, I love '90s movies. Bro. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, Fuck, it's we're getting shit. old, man. Yeah, That's yeah. how you know. Yeah, do you ever see uh, uh, Midnight Run with uh, Robert De Niro? It's a, a 1988 movie. Midnight Run. Yeah, it's a great movie. No. Fun. Yeah, he ta- he's a, a bail bondsman and he uh, takes on the Chicago mob, and it's really oh good, dude. You gotta, you gotta I see gotta it, watch dude. it. It's really, really. I'll good watch one. it. I said I'm never yeah. gonna watch a De Niro movie, but I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah. Is, oh, dude, that's man. As long as it's not De Niro and CGI, I'm gonna <laughs> no, watch it. No, no, no. It's what he looks like <laughs> with CGI. <laughs> you know, it's like the original. Uh, yeah, yeah. Midnight Run. Yeah. Any yeah. other big Harvey Keitel is in it or no? Um, no, uh, Dennis Franz. Uh, Dennis Franz. Who yeah, the fuck he is plays that? the head of the Chicago mob. Okay. How yeah. many hours is it? Uh, like an hour and a half. Okay. Nothing big. There's another good actor that plays with, um, with, uh, and he's a big name, but he's an old, I, I can't think of his name, but he's really good. The yeah. guy, uh, cause, uh, he, uh, uh, he goes looking for this guy and he's, he, he was a accountant for the mob and he took money from the mob, right. Oh, to, okay. uh, uh, give it back to uh, the people that, that, um, uh, I don't know he gave it, and then so like the mob was after this guy, right? And and Robert De Niro had him, and then the mob wanted wanted uh, wanted Robert De Niro to get hand him over, you know? And then uh, yeah, he's like, nah, nah, I'm not gonna hand him over. I'm gonna get my money the honest way. I'm not gonna get it from you guys. And uh, yeah, this was, was done in the nineties. Yeah, uh, eighty eight. Oh shit! When yeah. I was born. Oh really? You were born in eighty eight. Eighty eight, January one. Holy 1. shit, you youngster! Yeah. Holy shit! I don't look it. I look older than you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that, bro. Oh man, we're having some beer. <laughs> we're not sponsored. I usually fucking cover this, but. <laughs> so, uh, so we went to the Normandy region, bro, and you know, I had to watch fucking Saving Private Ryan again, bro. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. What a great movie, bro. Where'd you watch it? On the train? Um, no, we watched it in... Uh, in uh, That's the most American the thing ever, bro. <laughs> That's the most... Hey, hey, so, hey, baby, you want to go out? Enjoy fucking... <laughs> no, we didn't go to the movies. In our hotel Normandy. room. Yeah, yeah, no, no, let's just stay indoors. Yeah, yeah. Let's watch fucking... No, no, it's... Where we, where we... Tom Hanks? Bro, this thousand-year fucking place where we stayed, bro. You stayed in a castle. Yeah. You stayed in a... Castle in France, yeah, thousand year old Normandy, castle. Yeah. And watched Saving Private Ryan. But uh, they, everything shuts down at fucking eight, bro. Oh shit. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. You know, what else are you gonna do? Yeah. All the tourists that come there and visit, uh, you know, uh, uh, and there's thousands of them every day, bro, that yeah. go there to visit. But this place is so beautiful, bro. It's so magical. <sighs> I almost don't like my shots from there are so beautiful. I almost don't want to like, you know, uh, share it. I know. I know exactly. Because I don't want people to fucking ruin it. I know exactly yeah, you know. what you mean. Okay. That's yeah. why I'll pay you to see it. <laughs> I'll be no, but you're not. I what, know exactly yeah. what you I just, mean, bro. You, you know these, bro. Because when I went to Tulum, uh, Mexico, yeah. Tulum, Mexico is such a beautiful place, bro. Gorgeous. Is it ruined now because of all the whores, bro? All the fucking Instagram, Instagram shamans. <sighs> With the fucking caps and the ponchos, you know, like Instagram like, shamans. Yeah, like I. That's why I like joke about them. You know those dudes on Instagram that are like, they they their wardrobe is like Instagram. Yeah. Right? So they got the fedora and the poncho. But they're vi- I'm so artsy. I'm so. But they're um, they're visitors. They're not. Yeah, visitors. Okay. All the douchebags from all around the world, bro. And they went. That, they that, they, they that did that kill, to Tulum. They kill a spot, right? Yeah. Because it's very Instagram worthy, right? Very. Right. I was gonna go to uh, a Muay Thai school there. Really? In yeah. Tulum? Yeah. No, oh, dope. My friend went there, 
Fucking terrific, terrific fucking school. Don't tell me this is the photo you took. Did you guys go to Eiffel Tower? This the this the view from our rooftop, bro. I don't even want to see the other photo. Bro, why is it such a good... Do you have the eye for it naturally, or is it your camera? But It's both. Yeah, but like... It's I both. Have, yeah. This is such a great shot, man. Did you do any post... I haven't done any posts yet. Yeah. Can they see or no? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it so they could see what what, what we're seeing. Um, God, man, it's yeah. Okay, let me ask you this: when you, because you went to uh, Paris and then south of France, yeah, which I, I mean, incredible, and then you went to London, which is even though it's dirty and fucking, it's they still have the architecture. Yeah. When you came to LA. Did you think this place was like a village? Because everything is like there's no buildings. How uh, how long were you there? A week? Two weeks? Um, we were there for 11 days. And how much did you hate coming back? Um, I, bro, I missed you, man. I wanted to come back, bro. I wanted Thank to be so me fucking here uh, doing this shit, bro. I know we, you don't mean we were fucking that, rolling, but... man. Everything was going great, you know. Yeah, but it's fucking Europe, Excited. boss. Yeah, Europe is dope, man. Like, uh, you should have stayed there for fucking a month, did, did, bro. These are breathtaking. That Monaco. We went to Monaco before. Uh, oh, the yeah. fucking how, how yeah, is that, Monte Carlo, man. bro? We went to that. Um, how is that? It was, bro. People who run the world live there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, How were the women? Did they? I know the men look hideous and short and fat. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. All that. <laughs> no, we didn't. I, bro, honestly, didn't see any. Uh, was it expensive cars? Women. Yeah, yeah. My goodness. Yeah, yeah. And bro, the the Monte Carlo casino, that shit looks so fucking luxurious. I mean, luxurious. <sighs> But like in that old fucking world, like luxurious, not not like. Did you feel like I don't belong here? This yeah, is... yeah, yeah. Where did you I, stay? It in was Mon uncomfortable. <laughs> like, yeah. like that's how. Like cause I, 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 bro, I've been to some you know really expensive houses and yeah, and around really rich people and stuff like that. But I, I felt like I didn't belong there, bro. You know. What did they do? Uh, what was like the the thing there? Like, why did people they just go and gamble? Like originally, or like I mean, there now, like they just go and because everything I've I've seen, it's just people showing off and going to gamble. And right now, like I guess that Formula One race is a really big thing, and oh, that yeah. just ended like like a week before we got there. Yeah. So that that's a big hit there. Here's to traveling, here's to being so fucking wise and cultured that you're like, man, instead of doing shit here, let's go and travel, let's see the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No no doubt, bro. Like, it, I think that, uh, bro, it opens your mind, man. It really does. It just fucking, it's good for the soul. It's good to interact with somebody. Bro, not only that, like, okay, that's, you know, being in France, right? Like, I... You know, even though I'm a minority right here, right? I'm Hispanic, Latino, whatever, minority, whatever. Um, but I don't see I don't see skin color. Thank you. I just see crime rate. <laughs> 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 no, but like when be, not not speaking the language is what what, what yeah, I'm yeah. trying to get at, I guess. Uh, in trying to communicate with somebody that doesn't speak, yeah. Yeah. You go back to human human contact. Yeah. Like how how are we gonna communicate? Yeah. It's nice. It's nice to 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 have that human contact with another person from a different part of the world, right? It's like civil. Yeah. Civilization. Civ yeah. Yeah. They don't want that. They want. Uh, that's why they wanted people not to travel. They just wanted people to be dispersed. Yeah. They're like, yeah. we'll tell you how these people are. Yeah. You don't have to go see for yourself. Yeah. Trust us. Yeah, yeah. They don't like us. They hate us. They're bad. Yeah, you're right. Like, yes. You're like, I saw nothing of that. Right, right, right. And I should have known that, bro, because, dude, being from... It's propaganda, Chi bro. That, bro, being from Chicago, you know, before... Hey, I was, I, I, you know, I was telling everybody I was coming out to L.A., Right? Hey, I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go out to Bro, even you know 
Why are you gonna go to LA, dude? You know so many the... Mexicans. Why are you going there? <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I went. There's none. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're like, it's like, you know, they, you know, they're, they're just talking shit, bro. Like everything. Like, what were they saying? Like, it's very interesting. I forget that you're from Chicago. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the people are fake. You know, like it, it, it's like just, just everything. You know, like they're they're haters and shit like that. You know, like like they're just like it. It, it people aren't real there. It's not the real place. <laughs> you can't touch anything. You're like, is this a house? No, it's not. It's, <laughs> it's not real, bro. Yeah, yeah. Nothing's real. Yeah, You're yeah. Like, oh. Yeah, it's not real. But these really, these are really fun to play with. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking good. So you're the customs. I I want to hear what the. So the, she was just saying because you know you have to look into the camera. Oh, I just saw a video on that. You can refuse to. R really? Yeah. So okay. this, is that the only way you can get in? You have to look into the camera. Yeah. Oh my god. So not in every country in Paris and London or whatever. Everywhere we travel. Do you have to? Why? You can just show them the ID. Well, so some of them, it's like on automated. You got to put your passport there and then look into the camera. So, th so I just read and listened, and I did research on this thing. There, there. Um, it's a couple of companies who are getting uh, facial recognition data, and there was this lady who goes every time uh, to airports and especially when she's coming she covers her face and they make a whole deal on this she's like i'm not it's not um, it's my right to not give you my face here's my passport and then they call someone and then they cut they they call someone else and then they're like yeah it's your right to not use your but you're gonna have to spend like 30 minutes there just telling the people this is not i can i can opt out of this i never signed up for this and people don't know That's what I wanted to ask, because I was like, "Is is it true?" And it, yeah, they do. They most people are like, oh, I don't care, but like, no, I'm not going to give you my my data, my facial recognition data. You just say I don't uh, know. And then oh, they, that's what it's for. Hundred percent. They just rolled it out in Europe uh, last year. They're just getting their their. Uh, it's a it's a company that works for Interpol. They're just getting people's data. Hmm. That's where you have to look. You're like, why am I looking? You have my passport. Yeah. We, I've been doing that for some time now, though. How I've long? I've been doing that, like, at least five years. Five years? Yeah. When you go to customs, they have that? Yeah. You look into the fucking camera? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. Well, I, I saw it recently or last year, and I've been uh, uh, researching on those companies where, um, yeah, you can refuse to. But five, yeah. Well, you could refuse that, you know, that, that thing that, you know, that takes a radiation picture of your body, see if you're hiding anything in your body. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but that they can use against you. But this they can because now we're in the digital phase now. Yeah. Five years. Yeah. Five years they've been doing that, bro. Yeah. Well... So, okay, you sorry. So, anyhow, she was just commenting on... She said I was glowing, bro. She's like... Wow, just look at dude, you look like you're just like you had a great trip. You look like you're glowing. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, it was. It was really nice. It was like kind of like took me by surprise, you know, because she's in this full, you know, custom uniform, like fucking officer and shit like that. Yeah. And what did you say? Like I, I felt really good about it. You're like, felt... did you say merci? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I I was I was having fun with that shit, dude. Like merci, bonjour. Everything's bonjour and everything's merci. They're very polite. They're very, you know, they acknowledge people. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, bro, it's fucking it's called being cultured. Yeah. Hell yeah. And and so, you know, back to the fucking point where why people may think that they're rude and they're assholes, maybe cuz they don't greet them with that. And that's their customs. Like, if you're going to go there... They've never been, bro. People told me this wildest shit about New York. And I'm like, I went there. I was like, this is the greatest city in the world. Yeah. I was like, fuck L.A. <laughs> I was... I was at, bro. Wait, were they talking shit about New York? Yeah. Yeah. That's... I was talking shit about New York. <laughs> bro, I get my fucking friend picks me up. Fuck. I'm not friends with him, but fucking I miss him. He's a fucking bitch. Uh, he picks me up and I get on the fucking 
JFK. We get on the bus to go to, uh, he's staying by uh, Harlem. This beautiful fucking girl, Albanian girl. The most beautiful girl I've ever seen in my life. She was Albanian. Albanian chicks are hot, right? V- very. What is it? Like? I, it I, when it when the water matches the genetics and the experience and the it just got great bone structure, bro. War yeah. and just like just the whole fucking everything. Yeah. Cause the like the the ones next to next to them, they're fucking, you know, um, they're not as attractive. And then the ones to the right of them are not as attractive. And then the yeah. north of them not as you know. But it's yeah. like just when it so fucking they took the whole good gene pool and fucked everyone else. Next to them. Bulgarians are very <laughs> just like the whole, yeah. like the Eastern Europe, like the Mediterranean, the the yeah. the, the Baltic, yeah, the, yeah. the 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 you're like. You when they're neighbors or fucking you're like you, we're gonna kill each other. Yeah, you're like that's that's beauty. <laughs> when everyone's like ah, everyone, everyone's fucking fun, you're ugly. <laughs> but when you're fucking, you have yeah. to when you when you put yeah. on makeup and yeah. a dress yeah. just to buy bread. Yeah, just to, cause like when it's fucking in like tense environment. Yeah. Anyway, I saw this at the at the bus and she was so beautiful and I was like. I said, "Hey, you're the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. I just can't, I just got back. I just got to New York." And she's like, "You sound like you're from Brooklyn." She told me, and I was like, "Well, I have this fucking accent." And and he's like, "Nah, nah, you're from Brooklyn." I was like, "I swear." <laughs> my friend, my I was like, "Ask my friend." He's and he was he he was laughing and bro. I was walking around New. <sighs> it's the bro. You it love was that. Yeah. Every girl. They're like, oh my god, you really? I was like, this is incredible. They're like, are yeah. you fucking with us? You sound like you're from New York. Yeah, I was like, yeah. You got like a New York swag. Right? That's just like, you got you got game like a fucking New York or something, <laughs> or something. I think it's. I was in college and my, and my friend Dimitri, who's from New Jersey and New York, he t- like I got most the most of how to kind of break the ice and talk to women and how to behave in situations. I just took after him, and it just. F- Why did you get a lot of checks? Yo, yeah. Yeah. And he told me he was, um, he would go up to, but he was like a fucking handsome guy. Yeah. Uh, 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 blue eyes, you know, tall, kind of had a, had an earring when he, when he started kind of coming here, I'm like, we got to take that earring off because the homies, you know, they're going to be like, <laughs> what the fuck is this fucking fruitcake? <laughs> you never had an earring? Nah. No? Nah. No. Nah. I mean, 88 was past that. <laughs> well, I mean, we were fucking uh, uh, made the early eighties. It was banging. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how the forties was for you. Uh, Bob is a vampire, bro. You have perfect fucking skin. You look fucking thirty one oh, years old, bro. You look thirty one fucking you, years man. old. God bless. What do you mean, bless me, bro? Oh, man. I know you're old because you're fucking cleaning up with your hands, but like that's <laughs> fucking. Uh, so your boy had game. He kind of it kind of rubbed off on you. Is there? Is no, I t- I took up after him. Yeah. Like fucking. Uh, uh, no, you got it, bro. It's genetic, man. Absolutely I think gen- not. Absolutely I, not. Really? Bro, I started getting bitches after college. Really? What? You're a late bloomer then. Very late. Yeah. That's Very okay. Late. Yeah, yeah. Late bloomer. Um, but yeah, when I I just couldn't believe. Like yeah, LA. Uh, also, the the quality of women has has decreased because I remember in LA, just in, I would say in general, but definitely in LA. Because back in the day, you go in LA, you go out, everyone was fine. Mm-hmm. At, now there's so many fat bitches. I know the lockdown must have done anything. The fucking antidepressants therapy. Yeah. But like New York, I just saw a, a higher level of bitch. Like women were just. And then obviously you go to fucking Ukraine and Russia and you're like, oh, I mean, this is done. Like, this is. And then I came back to America and I was like, oh, my goodness. Like, this is. Because <laughs> <laughs> when I went to Europe, France was like beautiful, you know, like terrific. Yeah. And uh, uh, and then we went to uh, Italy. Rome, you know, beautiful architecture, dirty, you know, every 
these migrants coming up to you, fucking coffee shop, coffee shop, want yeah, weed. Yeah. And then you go to, and then uh, uh, um, um, uh, um, Florence was beautiful. Yeah, and then yeah. you go to Florence S- looks beautiful. Just the women was beautiful. And then Venice was like touristy. And then you go to yeah. Sicily. Not a lot of attractive women, but like the ones in the village that you would see, like, oh, my God, God yeah. given. Yeah, yeah. And then we go to Spain. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Barcelona, <laughs> Andalusia. <laughs> like, it was, it was. And then we go to Amsterdam. And we were rooming with these three. Oh, my God, bro. They were so fucking gorgeous, bro. In Amsterdam? <sighs> Insane. So after all of those angels, angels, fucking, then you, you go to fucking Russia and Ukraine, you're like, done. You're like, ah, of course, of course. Done. Like, just hey. to buy the fucking, a local fucking. They're, they're in stilettos. Just and the, short and skirts. Just you like done up makeup it's hair natural. done. It's natural, natural. Over here, bitches will like. Here come, uh, 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 do it with me. I'll <laughs> fucking these. I would, bro. Literally, <laughs> these bitches would just wake up and just be like God given. <laughs> and something happens when they turn fucking fifty. They just fucking shrink. Yeah. They yeah. shrink. They become this fucking table. Yeah, yeah. But there was this Albanian chick. Um, that I saw in New York was like, I'm like, you are, she's like, I have my boyfriend and she's like, I can't give you my number. And at one time, I think her boyfriend probably caught her or something, but she was, I was like, you have like you. Yeah. So, but in terms of, in terms of talent, I would say New York has, has, uh, just more beautiful just by, you know, je ne sais quoi. Which is French for something that I don't know the name for, I guess, or some shit. But, but just the talent just decreased because now you go out, and I'm I'm saying going out on Sunset, Hollywood, like ain't no fucking fine ass bitches anymore. Before you're like, God damn, or maybe it's my my uh, my bias, but like I still actually I love beautiful. I appreciate beautiful women yeah. more. Yeah, yeah. I think I think uh, it you know it goes through like uh, talking about aesthetics and and a certain look you know the seventies had its look the eighties had its look you know maybe we're going through a transformation shift where you know people you know the style everything's looking different in terms of style remember, it's looking like, different grunge look you remember the chicks were into yeah that? but still like elegance yeah. is elegance like fucking. At Monaco, they they can have the most money for the most important clothes and cars. You're like, you're still a dump. Yeah. San Diego, North Park, the hottest, hottest bitches. Bro, Little Italy, North Park, San Diego. Insane, insane, insane. Yeah? Insane. You hung out over there? Yeah, I keep hanging out over there. Just fucking driving. I was like, fuck, just insane. Yeah, it's a cool, cool area there. I'm talking about the t- women, boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> Fucks, I don't even know what buildings there are. <laughs> Just insane, yeah, bro. Yeah, For yeah. no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? Yeah. How? Yeah. LA is a fucking dump. I don't know. The ratio in, in San Diego was good with the women, I think. That's bro, I'm, but I want, I've gone everywhere in LA. Mm-hmm. From fucking Venice yeah. to San Diego, uh, fucking near the airport. Yeah. Hollywood, yeah, yeah. West Hollywood, Valley, uh, uh, no, uh, El Segundo, fucking. Hmm. Interesting. But San Diego is fucking top notch. Northern California is fucking garbage. Yeah. Yeah. Garbage. Yeah. 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 Dude, when I went to San Francisco, bro. Yeah. Dude, I. It, it, man, wow. What a fucking dump. Is, is, as far as like. Just a bunch of guys fucking, like no women quality, man. Like, hey, dude, I'm sorry. Like, I don't, I don't want to fucking. Don't, don't you? Be, don't like, apologize to me, brother. Dude, 
I I just it they're not they're not about the looks there. Yeah, Berkeley. Right, all that shit. It's just not that. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? Shout I, out I, the beautiful woman. Utah. Utah was the worst food I've ever had, man. Really? We we did a we did a electric uh, Daisy Festival or uh, no, I think that's a rave, <laughs> electric comedy thing yeah. with this girl, with this very nice girl who is uh, one, a part of the cult in Utah. Okay. And she goes, she goes, I'm doing a comedy festival. We, we so just by the images and everyone else, we think it's a crazy fucking yeah. big comedy festival. She's like, all your stuff is paid. Uh, you have a pay, place to stay. I'll have a driver come pick you up. And then you, I was like, man, this is VIP. Bro, we get there. I swear to God, this bitch was trying to convert us. Really? Right before we went into the theater. This was in um, some, not in Salt Lake, but like outside of Salt Lake. Um, and then everyone had uniforms on. And she goes, oh, one more thing. Uh, you only You can only perform clean here. And it's like elderly people. And I was like... And right before, and she came, but she was like flirting, and and when we were in in LA, kind of seemed like, oh yeah. And then so we go there, and St. George, I think it was St. George, Utah, uh, um, and the worst food ever in the history of food, and everyone knows that you're not from here, mm. and bro, ever this bitch came in uniform, and she's like, can we? Can we have like a prayer wow. before I'm like, no, what are we praying for? <laughs> but she's uh. like, but it wasn't like a, like a prayer, a Christian prayer. Cause I was with the Jewish homie, Max. And even he was like, Hey, I was like, I'm not gonna, I was like, well, what are we praying for? Like Jesus Christ. And then she got weirded out. She, and, and she kind of ignored me, all ignored me and everyone. And they're like, well, we just, and I, and, and then you had the, Whatever the fuck, what's the thing is Utah, the Mormons? Yeah. And then you had the 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 stuff there, and it was like the history, and they're like, come, uh, this is like uh, some stuff you can eat, and then this is like, you know, it would help. It's with- weird, dude. And I'm like, well, we That's came weird. all the way here, bro. Yeah. We fucking came all the way here, but it was a great experience. And then we're, it was like, and then we're like, hey, I, you never told us this was like a clean comedy show. And she's like. I mean, it, uh, not that it has to be clean. You just like you can, like if you don't want. To, and I'm like, oh. And then she hit when we came back, and I was like, hey man, are you you are you trying to fucking convert us? And she started laughing, and she's like, ha ha. And then she walked away. And then when we came back to <laughs> L.A., uh, fine. She's a fine ass bitch, fine <laughs> fine ass chick. Yeah. And then uh, she's like, hey, uh, I'm doing a show at this apartment in Burbank. Um, I want you to meet some people. This is her, bro. This is after the festival. She's like, uh, I can't tell you anything about it, but it's very beneficial to you and your career. Come meet me and I'll introduce you. I was like, hey. I go, do you think I'm fucking retarded? I go, first you, you, you told us to go to Utah for that garbage fucking conversion therapy shit. She's a comedian? Yeah. Okay. She's a comedian, but she's like... Yeah. Fucking get, and then people were asking. Me, I was like, "No, nah, that's a fucking cult, bro." Yeah. Like we went there, and then uh, the weird. the person who picked me up was this, her fine ass friend. Yeah, and then we're trying to holler at her, but she's Did like, "You pray with her." We were trying to holler at her, but she, she but like she kind of knew. That they're like, "Oh, you know, yeah." She's telling me to pick you guys up, and I was like, "Who's gonna drop us home?" And there was like no Ubers after nine. Yeah. And we went to like four or five different restaurants. The worst food. Yeah. Uh, uh, and they said the 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 all no, of, no alcohol, right? So the alcohol was they said they can only give you certain amount of alcohol. <laughs> and then the person in charge yeah. of the alcohol distribution mm-hmm. was part of the religious, like there was a Mormon who had to come and check that it only gives this much specific much specific amount of alcohol in each fucking thing. And I was like, how do they fucking control this fucking state? How do they fucking control this fucking state? So. They do. You can travel the world. Don't go to Utah, bro. That shit's a dump. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much they fucking paid Carl Malone and (laughs) fucking. No, but the state itself is beautiful. Like the landscape. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. You're focusing on the crappy food. And, and the people. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> and uh, yeah. The, the traffic. Yeah. And the buildings. <laughs> and the culture. And Did the you guys drive there? religion. Uh, flew there. You flew there. Flew into Salt Lake or? Yeah. And then, or no, no, there was an airplane nearby there. But when I tell you, when I tell you it was the worst experience ever. The hotel was horrible. <laughs> the shows were horrible. Oh. The night, there was absolutely no nightlife. Yeah. Every building looked like a plastic building yeah. that was just there for appearance. Uh. And some dumb fucking comic bitch. I don't even consider a comic this bitch. One of the good things was happened is this bitch got a DUI from smoking weed in a car. In Utah? In Utah. Uh -huh. You dumb fucking bitch, bro. This dumb, <laughs> ugly ass fucking bitch. And I'm like, yeah, good. You fucking dumb bitch. You dumb fucking bitch. That was the best thing that happened. So you guys went there for these shows? And for a festival. And then we uh, went, there was like two shows. Uh. And then the fucking, the hotel didn't have anything. Bro, the hotel guests were looking at us like this. Yeah, 312. And then they're like, I'm like, is there anything fun here to do? Any bars? Yeah. They're like, I mean, there's a restaurant across the street. Like, it was so yeah. weird, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it was fucking, bro. Yeah. It was fucking. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there was no, all the banks were like the, the, the Mormon banks. Mm. There was like one Wells Fargo. It was it was scary. It was I'm never. Yeah, they're 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 like a cult. They're like they're it's a like, huge fucking cult. Yeah, 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 yeah. So travel the world. Go ahead, go to ever except Utah. <laughs> okay. So I'm glad I'm glad you're back. Thank you, brother. It's good to be back. Let's fucking. We're gonna rock this fucking podcast. It's gonna fucking. Blow up, guys. We're going to have a great time doing blow it. Blow up. Um, we're any just going to have great fun. Any okay. advice to people? Uh, um, how important is it to travel? Dude, it's, 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 it's food for the soul. All right. It's, That's beautiful. It's, it, it's food for the soul, dude. Uh, just, just think about how we got here, bro. Like, none of us are from here, bro. Like, one of our ancestors, they got us here, bro. You know, and we continue to travel and make our own decisions and affect what the future generations, where they're going to grow up, all by traveling and finding out. You know, my dad left his place. His grandfather left his place. You know, it's like, bro, it's, it's like, you know, go, go see what's over the hill. Go see what's across the river. Go see that. Go talk to that person. You're going to learn something. You're going to learn something. Even if you have a bad experience, you're going to learn something from it, yeah. which is a good thing. There's no use in just staying, staying somewhere. Um, or when people say, I have to travel um, when I retire. I would say yeah. that's the worst time to travel. Right. Because you're old and it's hard to get around. Yeah, and, and 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 plus you can't fuck anyone. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah, you can also travel when you're when you're married and a healthy relationship. But like, you gotta enjoy the fucking you, you know. Do. You, you do. gotta enjoy life. You do. You travel, do. travel, you man. Do. Even a road trip, bro. Like, bro, yeah, get out of your fucking city, dude. Road trips are great too, dude. I, you know, uh, you know, just. You know, f feeling different here. Like even like you ever go to Orange County? You ever drive to Orange County? It feels different. Uh, we did, I did a show yesterday at Anaheim. Completely different, bro. Clean gas prices were four oh nine. Yeah, it, it it just feels different, dude. In Anaheim, it feels different there. Completely than it different. Does, like yeah, here. All the jokes were landing. People <laughs> were not fucking offended. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. it was insane. Cool. Yeah. So fucking yeah. hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. To so more take, to more take, traveling take, stories. Take road trips, bro. I'd love to take a road trip with you, dude. Uh um, I'm a I'm a great fucking travel partner, bro. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. I mean Bro, <laughs> I did a gig with fucking Adam Richmond in 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 El Paso, Texas. It's like a twelve hour drive from here. Yeah. And uh I went to pick him up in West Hollywood. <laughs> 
Dude, we're not even outside L.A. This dude takes off his shoes and puts his feet on my, uh, what do you call that? The dashboard. The dashboard. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> dude, bro. We're not even out of L.A. <laughs> and then? I'm like, what the fuck, dude? What are you doing? Oh, and dude. then what happened? Did you <laughs> and, kick him and, out? No, and then that kept happening for the next 12 hours. Like, what like, the wait. fuck? Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I love the guy. You know, it's just... I it, haven't it, seen him in a while. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen him in a while either, man. What's he up? still performs. Does he? Yeah. But if I had any anyone put their feet on my fucking dashboard, <laughs> we got to get out the car. We got to run it. Or we stop in the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I don't let I don't let my fucking the, the girls I go to the beach with do that shit, bro. Fuck, two girls have have done that, and I was like, yeah, what? They had perfect feet. Yeah. Oh yeah. They. Nice. Uh, I was like, which is important. I was like, put those feet on my fucking face, <laughs> but, but not on my put, dash. No, absolutely. What the fuck? That's absolutely not, bro. Yeah. No, I hear you. What's that website, man? If you if you can, we can put all those images on. Well, you know what that that paywall when they have to pay five bucks a month, ten bucks. Patreon. Patreon. We gotta do start Patreon. Yeah. People were asking me to put the really full video where I'm sucking a guy out, and then if you guys are interested in seeing his incredible footage, bro, fuck you. Well, let's put that on Patreon, bro. It's incredible. Thank you. Um, do you want to do you want to go over that uh, video that, or do you want to save it for next week? Let's save it for next week. Okay. So we could, yeah, devote some time to it. Guys, there's a great video of my boy here, Fanto, just fucking, <laughs> just fucking socking some dude in a restaurant in Glendale. No, Pasadena. Oh, was it Pasadena? <laughs> it's, it's, it's Glendale. Fuck. Yeah, it's the oldest Even, diner in it, Pasadena. And uh, I saw him recently and... Uh, so I want to also put it on a Patreon where I go and go back into the restaurant um, and then record him and say that, hey, man, uh, and then, you know, we'll see whatever happens and then put him on the spot and then put that on the Patreon. But he took you to court, right? Yeah, he fucking sued me. Yeah. He pressed charges. Yeah. And I'm like, you... And he had an option not... If he had the choice, but he didn't. To not. Yeah. Yeah. And uh uh yeah. Yeah. Did so was that settled or it is settled, yeah. 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 It it's 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 settled. Um yeah, I can talk about it, I can post the post uh, the the footage. Okay, so we'll talk about that uh next week. Uh stay tuned for that. And if you do have any comments or if you have any subjects that you want us to talk about, leave it in the comments uh on the video on YouTube and we'll be happy to Talk about it. And then eventually what we're going to do is we're going to do lives. Or we're going to do lives. And then you could comment live on it. And then we'll respond to your question live. Actually, we, we, we might even do um, the... When I do get, get the recording of, of the guy, we can do a live of it. And we can go pr play by play. That'd be cool. Me yeah, yeah because like, you're getting a, a big response online from... The yeah. video you posted, right? Yeah, a, bunch, of, a bunch of people. A lot of people have questions. Yeah, they're like, we want to see what happened. I'm like, all right, we, we'll post a Patreon or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to get that going. So we got big plans for, for, for everything coming up. Midnight in Sorry, Paris, yeah. Eric Allegri. Yeah. Sorry uh, about, uh, you know, not uh, posting for the last couple of weeks, um, you know, because we you were went, real You have rolling. a life, brother. Yeah, you have a yeah. life. But dude, like I mean, you know, people don't people don't understand that when they're like into uh, our podcast and they want to hear what's they up. They know they're fucking yeah. they're, they're scumbags yeah. like us. <laughs> they would do the same thing, man. Yeah, glad yeah. that you got to live life. You have to live life. Yeah, life is short. yeah, yeah. Because uh, you know, uh, you got to have something to talk about, like stories and shit yeah. like that. Because you know it's gonna get horrible when the election comes. So it's gonna be another <laughs> civil war. <laughs> Another fucking thing, and then they're gonna. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 do you think that Biden's uh, performance was so bad, or do you think that? Uh, I mean, what do you what, do you think? Wait, do you think that Trump's performance was so good that that it made Biden look bad, or do you think that Biden's performance was so bad 
it just made it like it was just bad. It's it's been it's it's been shameful for for Democrats since the fact that they lied that Biden has got the most votes in presidential history. It just took this long for them to put those two in a room. Imagine how much money the the deal that they got that even Trump had to agree that you like they're both under the same control of the same people where they're like, hey. Um, I think there's another debate, and then they're like, okay, Trump, you guys are going to have a debate. There's not going to be any people. There, there's a reason why they didn't put people around yeah. so Biden doesn't get confused. Yeah. But even Trump knew that. So Trump's, Trump was like, hey, yeah, I'll give you guys what you want because you're so dumb that there's no way, no matter what you put in Biden. He, but he's been like this for four years already. Yeah. But the fact that these dumb fucking progressive liberals, these fucking monkeys, these retarded whores are like, no, Biden is no. And you're like, are you, you think Biden is making the decision? So, of course, he, it's a, it's a, it's, it's, it's an embarrassment. Yeah. But it just shows it's like the president is just the face. The president just right. does. Uh, uh, whatever he does, but also as much as the faces, if you're as charismatic as Trump or Obama, uh, or or you can still get stuff done on how the world sees you. Yeah. But no matter how the world sees or Europe, they're like France can say anything they want about the U.S. Yeah. The U.S. are still gonna go into French territory, land with their parachutes whenever yeah. they want. Yeah. So. Even for show, it's like that's why now they're gearing up. Uh, now they have they're probably gonna remove uh, Biden from the next debate or some shit. They're gonna make some shit happen because they're definitely not gonna let Biden uh, debate again. So now they're they're slowly mixing up Gavin Newsom in the in the fucking thing, and then you're like, okay, you're gonna put the only other person, the only other worse person than than uh, Biden is Gavin Newsom, who completely. Uh, and did you see the interview yesterday whenever uh, Gavin Newsom was on an interview, uh, was on a show with uh, Adam Carolla, and apparently he didn't think that they could ask him any questions, and then they... they he was on Adam Carolla? And Adam Carolla, oh man, this, this fucking shit has been going bananas viral. Really? So Gavin Newsom is like, uh, uh, Gavin Newsom was interviewed by Adam Carolla maybe 10 years ago, where Adam Carolla completely wipes the floor with him. So now Gavin Newsom, I guess they didn't know that they could ask them questions or maybe they had an agreement that you're not going to ask any other questions besides the debate. Yeah. So then they're like, Adam Carolla. And then Adam Carolla was like, why did you close down the state? And you can see that Gavin Newsom is like fucking, because he's been ready. He's been wanting to catch Gavin Newsom like this for four years already. Yeah. Gavin Newsom is completely, you can see that this motherfucker is like. Is he pissed or is he? Completely. He's like, he's like trying to play it off. Yeah. And he's like, well, we didn't have any. He's like, so you you didn't know anything, and you closed down everything. He's like, well, the first thing, and then you could see like like he's sweating. Gavin, Newsom. this happened yesterday. Wow, I gotta check it out. Oh, it's it's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, everywhere. Wow. And then you could see that he's he's really digging into his bag of yeah. saying anything, everything he could. Yeah. And then everyone is like, and he's like, well, you know, it was everyone wanted. He goes, so you closed down the entire. So you closed down the beaches and you arrested someone on a paddleboard and you had this. And he's like, yeah. well, it was just even under Trump. So this motherfucker just goes and says, even under Trump, Trump did the same thing. And you could see that people are, it was fatality. Wow. Like if he had any, even any inclination to run for president, yeah. if they just post a video of yeah. of what, and then Adam Carolla was like, so you had no idea. And you still closed everything down where people could exercise. Yeah. He's like, well, he's like, so you didn't do it anyway. He's like, well, we're here about the, it's about science. He's like, no, 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 no. It's all proven. You did it anyway. He's like, well, this whole debate. He's like, I'm not asking about the debate. This motherfucker was like on, he's like, this is a night. It was a nightmare for Newsom. <laughs> it was, and get, Adam Carolla was like, I finally got you. He didn't say that, but it was like, and even the other reporters were like, they didn't step in until you could see that it was like, throw in the towel, throw in the towel. Was he speechless? Speechless. Wow. In the end, he, you could see that he was, and then the, 
they they start when he was like, well, the the, the <laughs> he was like going like this. He's like, <laughs> well, even under Trump, Trump did the and he says Trump did the same thing. That was his last. He's like Trump. Trump was doing the same thing. He's like, no, you're hmm. done. Adam Cole was like, yeah, you're done. Wow, that's wild, dude. Um, fuck Gavin Newsom. Fuck everyone who voted for Gavin Newsom, especially the second time if you voted for him. I want you to understand this. Fuck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> like, even if you're a, you're one of the listeners, <laughs> if you voted for Gavin Newsom, <laughs> fuck your mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. Keep listening. Keep, please keep listening. <laughs> but if you voted for Gavin Newsom for the second time... Yeah. Fuck your mother. Hey, you know ASMR. <laughs> Fuck your mother. You know who's back in the news? Who's promoting his book that he's selling? Kramer. It's, I don't know why he waited so long. Mm-hmm. He should have done it during the BLM days. <laughs> right? You should have been like, all right, we're even. <laughs> <laughs> What book? He's got a new book out. What's it called? Who cares? <laughs> who's going to read it? A lot of people, uh, bro. What are you talking I, about? Really? A lot of people. Really? Fuck yeah. Seinfeld, one of them. One of what? One of the readers. Uh, yeah, he did. And and that's a crazy thing. Like That dude went on Letterman telling people to fucking... They were laughing at him, and they he told him, "Be quiet! It's not funny." Who? It's Jerry Seinfeld. Oh yeah, I'm, I mean, bro. but it was funny, and that's why they were laughing, and it was weird, and it was uncomfortable. Yeah, of course, but it's crazy <laughs> how they just dropped it off the fucking. They just they just dropped it out the news like it never happened. They people stopped talking about it immediately. Yeah, but he, you know he it did it did its damage. So I mean, they didn't need to keep talking about it because he went away. It basically canceled. Yeah, them. but you have all these fucking uh, you have all these uh, race baiters who could have milked that, could have easily milked. They milk it but for they, worse, but they didn't for need less. To, but they didn't need to because like he was already canceled. He was done. No, no, no. they don't. They, these race baiters, uh, they don't need to use an experience to... Camp. They don't give a fuck about the person. They care about the fucking... The Sean... Uh, what's that? Some some Sean, the white guy who pretended to be black and then he went for the Palestinian cause. He he aggravated the entire situation, got all these funds for black, black causes, and then his Instagram went down and then he switched to... Pa- and then him and his wife, he's a white guy. What? Yeah, uh, Sean... Uh, Sean... Sean White uh-huh. or Sean, he's a white guy. Yeah. Pretended to be black. Okay. For the last three, four years. To, to this day. To this day. What does he look black? He looks white. How's he pretending to be black? He, 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 he could pass for like very light skin. Got all, he aggravated the most, he, he would like find the, most minor shit about racial stuff against black people and he would just like capitalize it this is the person i can't believe this and 99 percent of his followers were black hmm. so i guess this whole black the the whole black victimhood thing it was kind of took the side or the back seat and now with the whole palestinian thing happened so him and his black wife immediately his instagram got dropped he had millions of followers so people start calling him out on TikTok about they're sending him money for his causes, for his black causes. And then it's like they all like get scammed. Wow. Like black people yeah. are like, we, we're sending him these things and he's he's getting all these. All How, the, how'd they get scammed? Like, so they're they're like, he, we sent it to him and, and we're trying to get the requesting uh, where our money went and everything else. And he's like, he's like, he starts these non, the nonprofit organizations and then he uh, he comes to an event and then uh, he he shuts it down, but he just gets the money and everything what? else. So then, so people start calling him out on it. And he's like, "Yeah, I can't believe it." And then he starts him and his wife 
con uh, uh, convert to Islam. What? And they start doing speeches for uh, speeches for Gaza for Palestinians, and then Palestinians are saying, "Bro, this motherfucker's coming and traveling in Europe, charging people five hundred dollars. He's not even letting Palestinians speak at his fucking thing. He's a race baiter." Wow, never heard of this guy. Yes, you have, bro. Wait, He's Sean. The, he, Sean. Uh, Sean. Uh, Sean uh, White or race, uh, race fucking something. Uh, uh, but my Sean King. Sean King. Sean King. Okay. Bro, they they literally say uh, uh, this guy. This guy. Civil rights, civil rights activist. Um, both parents are white. Both parents are white. Never, never said if he was, if he was black or wasn't. Okay. He he just alluded to him being. People were like, "Nah, bro, this motherfucker's white. His his mom, and dad are the whitest people in the world." Was the main antagonizer aggravated of all these racial issues like did you see that race car driver when they found the noose in his fucking garage when it wasn't a noose it was just like a fucking thing that happened he was like taking it to the he would dox people with po posting their addresses and everything else for four years damn four years two to four years so he, he would do these non-profit organizations he was like donate to this we're gonna send it to this person's family this person's family and then there was a cop shooting uh, of this uh, uh, of this um, black guy, and he goes, uh, he called the mom or he called the wife, and then the wife or mom is saying, I don't remember exactly, and he's like, he just interviewed me over the phone, and and then I'm thinking it's a heartfelt fucking thing, and then he posts the interview on his fucking podcast for people to pay and listen. He never even told me he was recording this fucking conversation. It's legal, right? Uh, depends on what state. And then he goes, and all these people were coming out, and then he's like, yeah, he bought a fucking... Anyway, this guy switched from blacks to uh, Pallies, Palestinians. <laughs> and then the, but the Palestinians cut on, cut on very fast. He's like, wait a second, this guy has been, has been doing shows in Europe, and he said, he said his Facebook account got deleted. I don't, I don't know. But he was the main fucking race baiter who got... So that's what I'm saying. These people don't care about who's getting canceled. Yeah. If it, if someone fucking went on a wild fucking shit like that, they're gonna use that shit. The, it doesn't matter. They want people to be in the middle of this fucking thing. But yeah. see now you don't have anything. Everything's gonna take second. Uh, uh, everything's gonna take a. Uh, uh, nothing's gonna be more uh, more important than these innocent Palestinians getting genocided. Not a cop killing someone who may or may not be innocent, because that's been played out already. Already, and uh, you know, you, you, Jews can't play the victim card when you're like, bro, you you're literally fucking lying about everything. Yeah. So now it's like, now there's this vacuum. So yeah. we'll see what's gonna fucking happen. Yeah. So now you have all these race like BLM and white fucking Antifa people are are ganging up with the joining the Palestinian cause to go against the. The white conservative Jews or uh, Christians, which is a fucking mix up because they were going against the Muslims who were protesting the fucking gay rights thing. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I wonder what's going to happen before the uh, um, before the elections. Basically, so travel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Also, I've been I've been doing creatine. I'm not I was sure. just gonna tell you, bro. You're fucking. You're barely fitting in this fucking shot here. You're fucking so big. I got the wide fucking lens. Are you serious? Cause you, you're fucking swole as a motherfucker. Does it really show? Yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna have to move the camera back to fit you into the fucking frame. So it's a. It's three it's weeks of creatine. Yeah, it works, dude. No, creatine's a real deal. But. I'm going to get off it because I'm getting cramps from the weirdest movements. Oh, you got to drink lots of water, bro. I know. it's. I'm drinking yeah. still lots of More water. Modelo. But the thing <laughs> is, it's, uh, I'm a very high-intense, yeah. high-intensity type of, yeah. like, I jump and I run fast. Yeah. So 
uh, creatine I find out is not for that. Okay. It's more, much more for like stable CrossFit, like. So are you getting your cramps when you're running or what, bro, or in your sleep? I'm, or? I'm getting, like I'm in when a car it? and my, my friend, shout out to David Hahn. He's a, uh, one of my favorite gooks. And, uh, uh, Is he a chiropractor? <laughs> Asian. Yeah. Incredible. Oh, I got that part. A little <laughs> no, uh, uh, um, well, he's he your age, 59. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, um, Olympic level weightlifter. Okay. Comedian. Yeah. Very funny. Very racist. Ve That's why we're for, for yeah. homophobic. Yeah. Like all that, all that. <laughs> the good stuff. Crazy weightlifter, yeah. like Olympic level, your so he, age. Yeah. So he, he told said, you what? He said exactly. He's like, what? he's like, when, 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 as soon as I started, he said you're gonna get cramps like this. You're gonna get cramps like this. You're gonna get, did this, but as he said it, he said you're gonna get cramps on your side. I'm in my car. I'm I'm I'm, I'm just searching for some, <laughs> some fucking thing, right? Get the most painful cramp on my side. He's like, since you jump in everything else, you're going to get cramps on your fucking calves. But I get the weird... I'm, he's like, you're going to start getting heavy. And I'm used to sprinting. Sprinting and jumping 100 times, minimum. Why? <laughs> That's how we got into this country. <laughs> I just... I, I, I don't like... Uh, 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 I don't like... Uh, weight uh, training? I like weight training, but like I'm more... Like I like fast, quick. Like I like... Just a high intensity. Yeah. I like the, my, my fucking blood to uh -huh. fucking keep going. Like I like, you know, what rolling. What's it called? Calisthenics? Calisth Calisthenics is when you lose yeah. your body weight. Yeah. Oh. I used to do only that, but then I fucked up my joints. Because it was just, I just go like for 100, 150, oh, like, just pull-ups and everything else. Like that CrossFit shit? Not CrossFit. CrossFit, they do some other wild shit. Um, so I just like running and jumping. Like running up a hill, stairs, everything else. You can't do that with creatine. Creatine is more like just weight heavy and everything else. But people are like, bro, you fucking, you're getting big and big. And I was like, what the fuck? I don't see it. But people are like, bro, you're fucking getting humongous. And I was like, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. But so you I got, are. But I gotta, I gotta get off it because it's um, also give me a stomach. Your stomach. What about your kidneys? I can't see them. <laughs> no, I if I can't see them, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> so All there's no way them. around it? Like, you got to just... Of course there's ways around it. Yeah. Uh, you just got to do other stuff. No, but what I'm saying is, wait, are, you, are you taking the creatine properly? Maybe you got to drink more water. I, I, I take it orally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's... Uh, so, uh, so you can get off it? Yeah. Uh, you feel like has your strength improved? Crazily, yeah. And like my sleep, and my my uh, um, your sleep has improved. It has improved, so I'm sleeping four hours now. <laughs> but also, uh, what what happens when you like recovery has oh, improved? Yeah. yeah. But again, I went to the gym today, did some jumping things. My feet are heavy, and I got cramps on my uh, which I would never have. So in that sh short period, I saw in one week, I saw me getting, getting bigger. I saw my arms getting bigger. People were like, what the fuck? So now I got to get off of it, and then we'll see how, how, how much I shrink. Again, my Asian friend, who has been correct all along, he said you're going to lose about five, five pounds, so it's going to probably show. Five pounds, yeah. Because I haven't it's, seen it's, you for 11 days. water weight. Yeah, I haven't seen you for 11 days, and I, I, and I started about that time ago. Yeah. No, no, you've been tra traveling for 11 days. I didn't see you. Right. That's exactly when I started, before you left. Yeah. I was so mad. I was like, I got to work out because I miss him. Miss you too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is this three-hour podcast? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Fuck yeah. Guys, leave us a comment on the video. Let us know what you think. And, Let uh, us know if I should get off creatine and you should get on it. <laughs> No, uh, just lay off the juice, man. It'll make your head super big. Like I, I was, we were just watching um, fucking uh, what's that actor's name from Baywatch? The good-looking dude. No, the new Baywatch. 
There's a new Baywatch? Yeah, with The Rock and then uh, the Zac Efron. Oh, yeah. With Zac Efron. Yeah, that guy. F- what? And that, yeah. Yeah, that, so that dude's been having, like, you know, he's in that wrestling movie. I haven't seen it. He yet. got fucked by plastic surgery. Yeah. Well, that he had, was. like, a jaw implant or whatever. Why? It, I have no idea, dude. Like, I, you know, I, I think he wanted more of a square jaw. See, this is something we could talk to your 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 friend about. Yeah. They have mind up the yeah, end of thing. Um, I actually saw him in person. You know, good looking dude. This was before the surgery. Yeah, I saw him in person at, I, at the parlor. At no, Moro's? no, I was driving him. I was about. Uh, I was. You about were to, driving him. I think I kicked him out of my Uber. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah, I picked him up exactly near Hillhurst. Come on. On the mansions of Hillhurst. No way. Him and a girl, and the girl was, was like very. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I kept looking back, and it was him, and he kept, like, going like this. Uh, I can save it for another time, but I was like, yeah, I was like, hey, man, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, ah, you know how it is. I was like, bro, I know who the fuck you are. I go, if you don't want to be seen, you should have taken, like, a SUV, but I know who the fuck you are. I'm not going to. He's like, oh, sorry, man. You know, a lot of people get weird. I was like, hey, bro, I'm dropping you off right here. It was him and this beautiful girl. I picked him up at a mansion on Vermont, Los Feliz. Uh, was it his account? Did it say? No. no, it was the girl's account. Oh, okay. But every time I would I would I would look back or look in the mirror because I'm fucking driving, he'd go like this. Fucking faggot. <laughs> but it was like it was ten years ago. Yeah. And then and then you said, What what the fuck? I said, I was like, hey bro, you you good? He's like, ah I was like, why are you why are you he, he was going like this. Yeah. It just was weird. I was like, bro, why are you doing that? Yeah. He's like, uh yeah. but I know I'm like, I know who you are. Yeah, yeah. The girl's like, Well, you know, you just I was like, if you guys don't want to be seen, get a yeah. SUV. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I go, what do you think I'm going to do, bro? You don't think I... You, yeah. You, like, yeah. Right. He was making you feel weird. Yeah. And yeah. he's like, oh, do you mind checking this? I was like, nah, bro, I'm dropping you off here. And I dropped him off on Sunset and something um, uh, uh, by the... By you dropped him off early or you dropped him off at the... the I the dropped thing. him off early. I was like, nah, bro, you got to get out of here. Yeah. He's like, but he was nice. He was like, okay, thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't tip or anything. Yeah. Fucking pussy. Yeah, yeah. I was at the parlor at uh, Jay Davis's uh, spot on Monday night, and uh, yeah, that's like, around when I started. Really? Yeah. When that room came around? Yeah. Really? Huh. That was a good room, man. Dave Chappelle, when he was hiding, he was performing there. Really? Yeah. He was hiding. Remember he's when he yeah. got he got off the Chappelle show he was performing at uh, Jay Davis's okay. yeah, yeah, parlor yeah. on Melrose right yeah that's right and uh, I also saw Chris Tucker there yeah uh, I met him nice guy uh, but Zach he tapped me on the shoulder he's like hey, you know where the restroom is hey, who's this good looking motherfucker he's a good looking he was guy. good looking in person yeah yeah, yeah. and then. Uh, he went to the bathroom. So that's why, like, he's like, why, why is he fucking himself up, dude? What is fucking Bro. making himself look weird, dude? Like, just don't leave that a- after shit After you alone. start talking, after you start talking, after you start having conversations, like we're having conversation, and be like, all right, here's a hundred million dollars, and you're gonna be like, all right, maybe. When you're in that realm of nothing, like you don't know what real is. When you're like, all right, how much? This house is fifty million. He's like, all right, well, I'll buy, I'll buy it for thirty-one. They're like, all right, okay. When you're in that conversation, you're going to be like, okay. I want a new jaw. <laughs> yeah. They're like, hey, uh, this movie, yeah. we're going to pay you $75 million. Yeah. And then you're like. Yeah. You go to the parlor. You go everywhere in the yeah. fucking world. It's like that. And then afterwards, you're like, all right, I want a new fucking thing. Yeah. 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 Let me get a new jaw. Yeah. You guys got a you got a got got a new forehead. Yeah. You guys, you know. Yeah. So yeah. that's the that's the other part. It's like be careful what you wish for. Yeah. So you have to know exactly what you wish for. So. Yeah, I yeah that that's what happens when you have all this fucking money, bro. Like you just get bored, man. Like, I'm sure like your buddy, you know, sees that all the time. Just motherfucker, someone has like fucking two million dollars burning in their pocket. They're like, eh, yeah, I want a new forehead. You fix this? I mean, I I think it's a good time for us to kind of get money because you're like, all right, we've seen enough. Where you're like, okay, but I, I also I'm I'm um, 
I am like passionate about projects, about stuff I want to film. You know, stuff I yeah, want to show. Yeah, because you're a storyteller. Yeah, because it's so unfair. And I'm like, but if it was, if it was five years ago, I was like, I want none of this because it's like, uh, nothing matters. You know, like, yeah, but you know, life got more evil, and people, and you're like, okay, now, now I'm, now I'm driven. Now it's good. What do you mean? Like not mattered before. It was. Now? It wasn't a, like a cra- Like I was like, yeah, I, I'm motivated, but like it's you know it's the world. Like well, what else am I gonna talk about? Uh-huh. And then you saw that the people were like, hey man, stay home. Yeah. Right. And then now yeah. you're like fucking. You know. So that really lit a fire under your butt. That was the first like time to- where I'm like, wow. So- and it just kept getting worse. So now you, you, you feel like yeah, you want to tell stories. Actually, I have a vendetta uh, about kind of changing up and completely removing this system of show business, comedy. Like these people who have told me no or tried to say, oh, you can perform here, you can't perform here, or we don't think you're good enough for this festival, we don't think you're good enough for this role. I'm like, I'm going to... You know, I'm going to be making movies and we're going to do these things where I'm going to be like, you guys are fucking dumb. Yeah. That's my goal is like, I want to fucking be at these places where I remember these people and I fire them. Yeah. I'm like, come audition for this role or, hey, do you want to help? And then be like, do you know who I am? That's my goal. That's what drives me. Well, you're going to do that. We're going to do that together, bro. Yeah. And then we're going to travel to Europe. But my goal is that I always speak in... To myself and uh, into the world is I want to be so big where I go to all these comedy clubs and uh, and be like, see, like I, I'm like, so many people want to come see us that we just be like, you guys were the worst people to say, but it's like yeah, it, it drives yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it, it, and it's good, dude. And it's good that you had that drive. Because I feel like that once you get to that that place, bro, you're not even going to be thinking about those people. You're going to be like on the next level shit. Like, it'll be nice to do that shit. And I hope that you experience that shit. It has to be a healthy drive. Like, yeah, you definitely have to, you know, 90%, 80% of the thoughts is like you still have to concentrate on the art and then the, the story and then the grandiose of... The whatever it is, but yeah. the thing that every time I'm, maybe I should just you know like, ah, you know, stay home. I'm like, no, 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 no. Mm. Look, yeah. And I have all these like yeah. screenshots of things that drive me. Good. And yeah. people are like, hey, you know, you know, don't come. You're banned from this, or we don't yeah. think you're you're you cut out for this movie role, or uh, yeah, this person's not funny. You're n- you're never gonna be funny, or like, yeah. you yeah, know, so yeah. come on, man. How long are you gonna be? fucking doing comedy for yeah, like yeah. so it's like it drives me and i'm like fuck caffeine bro like maybe i should stay home or you know i have these different photos of me when i don't want to go work out in the gym or like anything i'm like i look at it, i'm like let's go let's fucking go it's like the salt sniffers or whatever the fuck yeah bad salt sniffers. bad salt yeah so you gotta have this thing where you're like nah you know, that, that reminds me of what we were talking about earlier about these fucking people that know nothing about New York and hate on New York and say, hey, you know, why the fuck are you going to go there and try to feed your mind yeah. with things that aren't fucking true? And then you go to New York, you're like, what the fuck? This place is awesome. Incredible. This is great. All that stuff. Same thing, with, you know, like before moving out to California. You know, people over there being like, yeah, people are all this and they're that. This and that. Well, let me go find out for myself. Guess what? I find out for myself, and I find out that that's not true, and this fucking place is awesome. And then, you know, we, you know, what I love about California is I meet people like you, and you meet other fucking people that are fucking very creative, very, they wanna, they're good storytellers, they wanna fucking, and they tell their story uh, in one way or another, you know, and I love that shit. And, and, well, and California is full of fucking that, dude. And I, that's why, that's one of the reasons why I fucking love it, bro. And, uh, you know, like, you know, so you could talk a lot of shit about, you know, L.A. and about California 
and Newsom and all the shitty things he's done, this and that. But, you know, it has a lot of good things, you know, and, you know, us meeting, us getting to do comedy together in L.A. and and fucking, you know, doing our shit, you know, and how awesome was that, you know? Fucking, it was. Now that fucking, it's never going to happen again. But, you know. Yeah, 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 right. Here's well, so many you know, more, see, brother. Some, some, some things are just, and I think maybe like the, the really good things are only meant to happen once. Yeah. And then that's it, bro. Then things will never be like that again. Yeah. They'll never be like that again. I, I I thought about that the other day too, you know, our fucking time at the haha and our time, you know, fucking doing mics and then, you know, just working on our sets and working on our jokes and There's no know, more mics like that, bro. I, These people are trash. I mean, I don't wanna that's it's gonna be another fucking hour, but yeah, These yeah. People are trash. Yeah, yeah. But dude, but, you know, but it, it, that's right. But you know what? You know what? What what needs to happen now, bro? It, you know, we we gotta adapt now. We gotta the ch- yeah. The fucking scenes a fucking dump, right? Like so now we have a new platform, Absolutely. right? A different thing, and then we're gonna evolve, bro. And then we get to tell our. our this is only the beginning, bro. We're, this, we got we got we got a lot of lot Amazing. of lot of good good good. Bro, look at these cameras. Look at the lights. Look at the audio equipment. We got so many different uh, new ways of communicating our, our what we want to communicate yeah. is, is, is as far as uh, storytelling, which is very exciting.